Hello, hello. So I'm running Ubuntu 18.04.1 LTS here on my uh, notebook and it's from 2011 so it's kind of old but I thought I would do an update video on a previous video I made about format create partition and auto mount a uh, second drive on the computer so that will it will automatically mount when you start your computer so uh, you do that with a software called disks like this and just click on it and why I'm doing this update is because it changed a little bit since the last video it looks a little bit different but the disks here it shows up all the disks you have in your system the 500 gig here is my operating system disk I got the uh, CD DVD drive and then a second hard drive here and this is the one that I want to format and you need to of course select it first so it's orange here and first you need to format the disk and you do that clicking here in the top the three lines select format disk and here we got a couple of options and the partitioning here if you have somewhat of a more modern computer you probably run or it have a UEFI and if you do I suggest you uh, select GPT here but this is an old computer and it's using like BIOS so I just select MBR and if you have UEFI but you run in legacy mode I suggest you select MBR so that and then format and you got sorry confirmation here so click format and this is pretty quick so now it's completely empty and now you need to add a partition on it and you do that do that with a plus sign here and this is the part that looks different and you have a slider here so you can select how big the partition should be and you can also type uh, 150 oops 150 and you can go the plus or minus signs but I'm going to keep it at full size and of course you can extend partition and whatnot as well and then I click next and here you can name your partition it's I just name it 160 gigabyte you can name it whatever you want erase I keep it on off and here's the thing it's um, by default selected by for use with Windows but no I'm not going to select uh, internal disk for use with Linux systems only and there, you can also password protect it if you want to no, I'm not going to. Then you click create up here in the corner. And this might take a little while. So let's see how long this will take. This is a really old drive. It's a first generation SATA drive, SATA 1. Or SATA 1G or what we call it, 1.5G. So uh, it's basically my test drive. And now it's done here, you got these options back. And now you have a triangle here and you can click on it to mount it. But the problem is that it won't mount when you start your computer. So you need to change a setting here and you do that with the cogwheels here. Additional partition options. And you go down to edit mount options. And you can see it says on here, so you just click off and click OK. And of course you need to type your password. And you are now done. And you can close this. And you can see the drive is now mounted. Go into files, you see that it's over here. 
and this drive will now automatically mount every time you start your computer. So that's how you do it. So uh, yeah, see you later.